Hello my soccer universe! Well, I'm wearing a team that I've been very happy with over the past few weekends, two weekends uh, to be precise. Uh, my overall mood uh, concerning especially the Austrian league is rather 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 low. It was actually a relief to not have to talk about Lusk last week, I gotta be honest with you guys, because it's not that they have lost two away draws, but overall it just feels so stale and so not going in any particular positive direction that I'm uh, very disillusioned. Uh, in Austria we also have that, you know, Salzburg is as good as champions as they have been all season long, to be fair, but uh, they almost could have clinched it, um, but just for a tad, it did not happen. And, you know, that would have happened after with five uh, match days to go, which tells you how dominant they have been this season. Uh, in Germany, however, um, yeah, up top Bayern is also as good as uh, as champions. I mean, still a nine-point lead, and I think after next week, we definitely know that this uh, it might actually turn into certainty. Although Dortmund have been for once in on a really really good run. However, I think the story is more or less current, but also the weird week that Hertha did have after losing the derby. But now it really 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 counts. I mean, for Hertha, it is. Absolutely, um, um, uh, they had all the the chances because now it counts. They play against every uh, direct opponent. They have a head-to-head -head where they can get themselves out of this heap of trouble that they have been in. And while on one side, one uh, would kind of chuckle a little bit at the uh, repeated failure of theirs, on the other side, a huge team like Hertha just belongs into the Bundesliga, if you ask me. Okay, I would say we'll start in Austria as usual. Um, past weekend, I actually watched a little bit of Admira Wackerlask, although I was there Liverpool, Man City at the same time. It, it, it was very in parallel in many ways. And that took uh, precedent because that was a fun game. Admira Wackerlask, yes, Lask took a very early lead. And it seemed like everything is under control. Then they just stopped playing, uh, concede uh, early equalizer just after the half. And then uh, you have to be lucky to not lose that one. And for me, uh, uh, games against Admira, where we usually win, are always a barometer. If you don't win against that team, you're in a heap of trouble. Um, however, the heap of trouble was coming. When the other one, Reed Hart, Hart, back in the goal is drawn. Then Altach, who were actually uh, gone, more, more or less. With a huge win at Tirol, making it uh, a 3-0 win. And at that point, the relegation group, we had all teams within four points. And between Lask and the last place team, Altag, that they were about to play next, were only three points. So everyone at this point could uh, realistically get relegated, which made for a really, really uh, nervy atmosphere, I gotta say. Uh, up in the championship, Salzburg just romped over Klangfurt 6 6 in rapid, uh, easy win, and Sturm Graz uh, also consolidated their second place. So, uh, going into the Easter weekend, uh, it more or less meant then that, um, again, the rally relegation group Lask 0 0. The only notable thing is because Lask were playing, and I do not mind pink jerseys, but uh, the current uh, pink league jerseys are just an abomination, to be frank. And the fans first for 19 minutes and 8 seconds, which is basically the year of the founders, uh, did not join in. And then they came with pink flares and say we cannot see Lusk because of all the pink. Which I thought was uh, at, at, at least a witty statement. Let, let's put it, with, with it that way. With a 2-1 win over Hartberg, Admira Wacker not only took advantage of Lusk's failure to win, but also of Reed's failure, who now lost at home to Tirol. Which means that in the table that we're looking in the, in the second, Admira now is on top and Hart, Hart because on the bottom. Uh, but it's still very, 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 very tight. Uh, however, the um, huge news were, uh, was in the upper round, uh, the win of Salzburg at Austria Vienna, where the first goal resulted a from a free kick that came into a corner kick. However, that free kick was at the edge of, of the line and one could really make uh, an argument that this should have been a penalty and the referee called a penalty however the VAR said it's not I honestly think it was not necessary it was not really clear so 
probably a penalty should, should, should have been given there. Then from the ensuing free kick, a header go from Capaldo goes onto the um, woodwork. I have an Austria play, Austria win player is touching it, but still there's a corner kick, and from that corner, it's one 0 Salzburg. Austria Vienna can equalize with a penalty. However, late on Salzburg gets the win, and if at the same time Rapid uh, Vienna would have gotten something in Graz, they would have uh, already been champions. However. Sturm Graz make it a 2-1 win again, consolidating their spot. And then the Corinthian Derby goes 2-1 to Klagenfurt. Kind of a surprising result, to uh, be honest. Uh, so uh, that means now that Salzburg just need a win. And they're for sure champions. And they can do this in front of a home crowd next weekend. So you can see uh, the celebrations already coming. will be the ninth win in, in a row. Bah, boring. Uh, what's a little bit more exciting, I think Sturm Graz also have very consolidated their second spot. So it's basically who will go into the Conference League in the direct um, uh, spot. Although this is also kind of subject still, uh, you know, there's a Europa League uh, spot for the cup final winner. If that would be Reed, they would go there. If not, third spot gets you directly into, your, uh, into the Europa League. Otherwise, it's Conference League. Rapid Vienna sit tight there now, uh, one point ahead of uh, Austria, and then it's, uh, you know, uh, the two Corinthian teams, I think, will make up who will go into this playoff and who will not. Uh, although, you know, if fourth place, if Salzburg wins the cup, then fifth place also gets you directly and you don't have to play the playoff. On the bottom, uh, it's a little bit more expanded now, but it's still not comfortable. I mean, it's now uh, five points between top and bottom spots, uh, but by no way easy. Uh, Lusk still sitting in second with a point behind Admira, but frankly, uh, it's a disgrace. This is a group that uh, this is a mini league that they should win comfortably, and hence my uh, kind of uh, apathy to the whole situation. Going over to Germany. Happier things. Dortmund, uh, rather routine, but uh, deserved win at Stuttgart. Bayern Munich with a late, a late, 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 late goal over a uh, win, get a win over Augsburg. You know, this was between the two Villarreal legs. Uh, so you could actually see there is trouble already, really brewing. I think the big one was, of course, uh, Mainz having a 2 0 lead in, Dor in Köln. Uh, in the second half, I think even going within the, the last 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes, let me just check uh, on that. Uh, so they had a tunnel lead through Onisivo in the 55th. Yeah, in, in goal going in, in the last hour in the 60th, you know, there, there were then uh, kinds of some say Ljubicic and Schaub came on as, as well as Özkan. Uh, the old the Austrian <laughs> guard, and then Skiri make, make, makes it one two, and then uh, within four minutes, uh, 78 and 80 seconds, uh, Ljubicic and Kilian, who actually had deflected the um, first goal into the his own his own on the first goal for Mainz, uh, gets the winner, and I think he's even on loan from Mainz. So a uh, really 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 weird story, but this was a win. That was probably the most exciting game uh, in Germany that weekend because it, it went really up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, Gladbach with a rather routine win, 2 0 over Kreuter Fürth. And then um, Bielefeld, who I think in the midweek already uh, lost something some to a head injury. And that was also overshadowed with a pretty bad head, head injury. That's why Wolfsburg could then actually get a very easy 4 0 win. Was deserved so. Uh, deserved was also what Hertha did, uh, a Hertha's loss against Union Berlin, where Union totally dominated the first half and only the Hertha goalie um, kept them in game. It was 1 0 at the half. After the half, it was an own goal from Union that gave Hertha uh, the equalizer, but the Union ran away with it, winning it uh, easily 4 1, fully deserved. and. The scenes in the Olympia Stadion after Wurz were kind of um, telling. You had the whole, you know, the open sector with all the Union fans all holding up the same scarf. It was a very impressive sight, whereas the Hertha fans were really, really mad and really concerned that they even forced the players to take off their jerseys and leave them from because they are not worthy of uh, their jersey. To be honest, um, first off, if I would have made a video last week, I probably the title would have been take off your shirts. Uh, I'm not sure what I should think about that because you know uh, the players tried. It's just they had a better opponent, 
and even uh, making the situation even worse. I mean, this is where you have to rally and tell them, you know, you have now three games where it's all to play for for Hertha. Really, three games where you um, uh, you played, I think, against Augsburg, got the against Bielefeld, I think even Stuttgart, uh, I, I don't know. But, you know, all the bottom teams, they were hosting. And so you need to kind of cheer, cheer them up and not uh, humiliate them. Uh, this way, although Lord Tomateus afterwards said, yeah, he would have taken it all also off. on the, um, Sunday. Leverkusen only a nil nil against Bochum. So Leverkusen season is going a little bit pear shaped. You don't even see them here on the background uh, in any way. Freiburg, a 2 1 win at Frankfurt. Frankfurt, another team. A bit with the Barcelona game that loss came. Uh, it was a little bit unlucky, but Frankfurt is a team that was not good in the Bundesliga. However, uh, they got Barcelona out of the way. And so, yeah, uh, it's kind of these two sides ag again. I think um, the Europa League campaign is probably not doing the best for Frankfurt in terms of Bundesliga standings, but it gives them a whole lot of backing in, gen in, in general, a whole lot of vi visibility. And then Leipzig very easily winning in the first Plastico in two weeks. Yes, I call uh, duels between Leipzig, Hoffenheim and Leverkusen are for me El Plastico and uh, Leipzig, Hoffenheim is probably the most prominent El Plastico. Leipzig easily uh, three nil winners um, and then in the past we can didn't see as much but Hertha got their first huge win one nil over Augsburg Dortmund rolling over easily over Wolfsburg maybe Dortmund is getting into form maybe maybe we'll see who will hold hold they will play, the play next Freiburg also putting pressure on uh, the teams up there especially Leipzig and Leverkusen uh, Mainz and Stuttgart nil nil I think uh, a it's not a bad result for Stuttgart, however, they probably would have needed that win. Uh, and Köln completely destroying Gladbach in the first half. 3-0 uh, at the half. Again, the Austrian guard with Kainz and uh, Ljubicic scoring a second to after Modest gave Köln the lead. Afterwards, of course, the Gladbach fans not happy um, besieging uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the offices of Gladbach and so on. They had to be removed. By the police. Uh, Bayern bounced back from their disaster Bielefeld with three uh, disaster against Villarreal with a 3 0 at Bielefeld. Greuther Fürth suddenly, you know, sometimes they pick up results 0 um, 0. Union Berlin against a probably tired and very, very, um, like I say, jolly Eintracht Frankfurt, an easy 2 0 win, and then the second El Plastico. Although, Although maybe I'm a little bit too harsh on Leverkusen because they are almost an established team at this point um, and have some tradition going back to 1904. But since then being propped up by the by a company, it kind of seems a bit weird for me. In that area, it's still as the FC Köln is the team of that area and not Lever Leverkusen. Although for the past uh, almost three decades, I want to say uh, Leverkusen have been the best team and have been a very well run team there. However, uh, it was not much about well run. I mean, the first half, Leverkusen were the better side, but then Leipzig turned it on. Uh, the, the goal came through a Soboschlei shot that uh, took, took a deflection, but it was a, a typical Le Leipzig goal. There was a forward pass from the Leverkusen defense, got intercepted, got, got into Nkunku, who very quickly plays it onto Soboschlei, and he puts it in the internet. As I said, it took a deflection. Uh, second half, Leipzig were the better team, but I think overall a draw would have been deserved. Uh, but it also means that now um, Leipzig really established in the top three. Uh, I don't see them getting out. They are the best team uh, in, in Germany uh, this year, 20, uh, uh, 2022. Uh, whereas Leverkusen now is uh, getting a little bit of shakes, although I, I don't know if Freiburg has, um, can really pull it off, although I would be happy if Freiburg makes it into the Champions League. Only on the curtain ahead of Hoffenheim, uh, so let's see if they will make it into Euro in, in into European spots. I actually think that Hoffenheim is the last team that really has a chance because afterwards Mainz, Frankfurt, Gladbach seem already a step uh, low, and you see a team like Frankfurt that can make it all the way to the Europa League semi-finals may not even qualify for the next season. Down on the bottom, it's not really in, in, in interesting. I think Hertha and Stuttgart are the two teams that probably go for the relegation spot. Bielefeld, it looks dire already. Uh, they need to start winning and need, need, need to start winning fast. On the other side, Bielefeld and Fürth are definitely the, 
by budget, similar budget, they're by far the smallest teams in, in the league. The Bielefeld survived last season was a minor miracle. It has to, 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 to be said. I'm just afraid that both teams, um, it will take a long time to come back, to be honest. Uh, just a news flash. Um, it seemed dire last season, but it really looks like a Schalke and Bremen are on their way up again. Two teams at the Bundesliga desperately needs desperately needs <laughs> to be honest so yeah uh, it looks not good for Bielefeld and Fürth is more or less gone I promised you the next round uh, that we look at that and of course we have the big one the classic between Bayern and Dortmund Bayern win they're champions that easy uh, as I said Hertha had to play against Stuttgart another huge 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 match I gotta say uh, what else sticks out Leipzig against Union Berlin um, Cult Club against Plastic Club, that's also an intriguing duel. I think at Freiburg Gladbach, um, I think there is some fire in there as is for Köln Bielefeld. So yeah, that's it from me from the German speaking leagues of Switzerland, but that's not purely German speaking <laughs> in many ways. But yeah, um, as I said, in Germany, I actually am, I was quite excited for Köln in Austria. Uh, it's, I don't know, at least Lask are building a stadium. That is something that's going well, but everything else, not so much. Any case, let me know what you thought about the happenings in these leagues. Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!